Okay, in this lesson, we're going to carry on from the colour theory um, homework which I gave you in the last week. So what we're going to be looking at is trying to create our own colour wheel using coloured pencils to try and create that. So here's an example of what we're looking to try and do today. And this will reinforce the different terms that we've, we've learned throughout the homework. So the starting point is going to be this here, which is a blank template, which I have um, saved as an image. And you can download that and print it off and actually uh, just add the colour to that. Or if you don't have printing facilities, we're going to have to look at maybe starting with a blank sheet of paper and then using a couple of cylindrical objects to try and draw around. So I'm going to start here with a small dish and I'm just drawing around it like so to create the first circle. I'll then use another dish slightly larger in size which I'll draw around to give myself the second shape. Like so. Okay, so that's me got my two circles. Now what I'm going to do from inside that is I'm going to create the triangles. So triangles, I'm just going to draw a triangle first of all on the inside. So just going straight across like that. And then I'll just make it easy. I'll just draw a line almost halfway down horizontally. So I've got a triangle at the top and I draw a line down here, which gives me that. So that's my starting point. Now, I would then try and divide up the outside into, into different 12 different segments. So I can, again, I can use a ruler for that just to try and give myself equal sections that I can add color to. And that would be what I'd be looking to try and use as my template. Now, obviously, I have already got the one printed, so I will use my printed option to show you how to add this colour. So we'll start off with the, the primary colours in the centre. So we'll start off with the three centre ones. The primary colours being green. Start that again. Primary colours being yellow, red and blue doesn't actually matter which, which one of the triangles you put them into, as long as obviously you put a different colour and a different triangle. So we'll quickly start here and I'll just rotate it around and I'll add a little bit of yellow into this one. As I said before, you can always spend a bit more time on this than I am. I'm doing this quick for demonstration purposes. I'll add my blue in and I'll add my red in. So that's me got my three primary colours. They are the colours that any colour can be made up from. Okay, so now we start to think about secondary colours and these are going to be the three in here. Now your secondary colours are created by a mix of the two primary colours. So if we start with the yellow and the red to get that colour in there, yellow and red together makes orange. So in this large semicircle, I'm going to just add my orange. like so. Blue and yellow together make green. So I'll use my color, my green color pencil just to add that in. And then lastly, the blue and red together make violet. So if I add my violet or purple, if you want to call it purple, into there. So that's me got my primary and secondary colours on. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add those colours onto the outside of the wheel. So I just follow the colour onto the outside. So this one is going to be red. So I'll just very quickly create it as red. I've got my orange into the middle here. And I just add in my orange. I've got my yellow pointing out onto the outside. So I add in my yellow. I have my green, blue, and lastly violet. Okay, so that's me. I've got my primary and secondary colours onto the colour wheel. So what I now want to do is add the colours which are in between. 
Now this is what's called the tertiary colour and it's an equal mix of a primary and a secondary and the colours either side of it. So if we start with this one here, this is going to be a mix of the orange and the red. So all I'm going to do is using the same colours as I just have, so I don't need any different coloured pencils. I put my orange on first and then over the top of that I add my red and I get my orange red. And I then do the same, going around the outside, I add my orange here, and I add the yellow, the one on the other side of it, and that gives me my tertiary color of orange yellow, or yellow orange. Just moving around, we go to the yellow and green, so add on my green, add in the yellow, I'm just working my way around doing the same thing. Now the green blue or blue green. And then we've got blue violet. And then lastly we have got red violet. And that is us with our finished colour wheel, which we have got all the different primary, secondary, tertiary colours around the outside. Now this can be used to great extent when it comes to, um, if you're asking, if I'm asking you questions about the colour wheel. So for example, if I said to you, what colour contrasts with blue? So we look at blue and we say, right, contrast, we know is the opposite side of the colour wheel. So we'd say the orange contrasts with blue. So does yellow and so does round to red. So these are the contrasting colours to blue. Or if it was to say harmonising with blue, we'd look at the ones next to it. So we'd go round as far as green, or we could go to purple. These are the contrasting. We can also look at the warm colours, going from yellow right round to, to a red, or we can look at cold colours going from our green round to our violet. And remember, advancing and, and receding, advancing colours are our warm colours. So again, from yellow, round to red, receding is our green round to our purple. So I hope you enjoy doing this colour wheel and this is the first of two tasks which I'm going to give you on this. The second is going to be a, a little rendering exercise.